Hello and welcome to another episode. It's going to be a busy week this week, it would seem. Um, someone in the comments this morning let me know that on the German Over the Air Update site, the EV3 has now got an ICCU recall. Um, it's not on the UK one, but it's on the Irish one. And in the past, the UK, uh, Kiel UK, has been reluctant to put out Over the Air Updates. He'd rather let you go to the dealer. So I ran my dealer this morning and this would be the case with this one. So mine is booked in for some time in April to have the ICC recall installed. It's only a 45 minute job, so it's a while you wait thing. The recall number is 250036. Also on the German website, and also the Irish one, they've got a bunch of EV9 updates I've never heard of. So, the details of the EV3 update are the updates applicable to some EV3 variants. What's new? The, the, the over-the-air update improves stability of the AC charging. It's as simple as that. I know a few people have had issues with AC charging stability and I've had a random event where it wouldn't charge above 1.3 kilowatts no matter what I tried to set it to. But it cleared itself after that. But I know others who've had a few issues. As for the German um, EV9 updates, you've got one for the vehicle charging management system, and this one improves communication with the charging station during plug and charge. And there is another one, uh, over there update for remote park assist. Uh, this improves the reliability with hand security features, ensuring a smoother and more confident driving experience. That's what it says on that one, I've got no numbers. Another one is for the vehicle charging management system or the VCMS on the EV9 and this one is to improve the stability of the scheduled charging and another one on the EV9 this one is an update to the digital side mirrors and this helps provide improves the moisture protection performance of digital side mirrors to minimize moisture formation in various environments so that's only if you've got digital side mirrors but i don't know if you even have that option in the uk so uh, anyway that's what's on there and another thing, yesterday I was looking for updates on the Korean version of the update.kia.com and they've revamped the whole site. It's changed kind of massively. Um, the way that you run the updates and downloads looks like it's changing. It says it's been streamlined or simplified to make it better. But uh, we will see. Um, I don't know if this style of site, as you can see on the screen, is coming to the UK or the EU or the rest of the world, but it's highly likely, I think. Anyway, hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching.